Take your head out of the sand this time. Or put your head between your Producer, legs and kiss can you hear me? Ass goodbye. You are now being programmed by. Now you can hear me. Yeah, 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 you know who it is. It's your boy Hero from Miami coming to you live from where you guessed it, Miami. <laughs> and hey, if you know me personally or have been following this podcast for any reasonable amount of time, you should know by now that there's constantly a reoccurring theme on this show. The apocalypse. And now, it isn't because I'm some type of negative Nancy. It's because it's it's staring at us all bully right in the face. For crying out loud, even the blind can see it. The introduction of cashless societies. Mark of the beast type levels. The imminent threat of nuclear war. And to add to that, more recently, some un... A handful of unstoppable plagues. Oh yeah, just throw that in the mix, right? With a cherry on top. Oh, put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> Yo, it's getting bleaker by the minute. Producer! Producer! How much closer to midnight on the doomsday clock are we now? Producer. I heard that it had moved recently. Okay. So it went from two, two minutes to one minute and 40 seconds. <laughs> How lovely. Yo, for those of you that haven't been keeping up... <laughs> For those of you that haven't been keeping track of current events, allow me to fill you in real quickly, seeing as though we're somewhat pressed for time, to say the least. First of all, there are the locusts. Yes, biblical levels of locust swarms descending over Africa and neighboring regions. The worst I've seen in nearly a century. It has gotten so bad (laughs) that they've even had to dispatch the military who are actually firing machine guns into the horde of said locusts in an attempt to stop the advancement. You know, with little to no effect, as one might suspect. Yeah, you know, in areas that are already suffering from the extreme levels of famine, the crop demolishing creatures, you know, pose an enormous threat to people living in those regions. Yo, as I was looking at these recent reports, it dawned on me. Yo, instead of trying to kill them, why don't they just figure out a way to capture them? And then figure out the best way to prepare them for consumption. Look, they seem to arrive in unlimited amounts. That would be the most logical thing to do, in my opinion. (laughs) I'm saying, they're eating your food, so eat the people that are eating your food. Yo, you gotta eat. Look, it's either, look. <laughs> a lot of times you just gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Look, anyway, it's even in the Bible. Matthew chapter 3, verse 4. John himself had a garment of camel's hair and a leather belt around his waist, and his food was locusts and wild honey. Hey, look, look, I'm just saying. Yo, it's not that my opinion. Or even what's written in the Bible matters, right? After all, we are just uh, another bunch of wacky soothsayers, right? (laughs) Right. Or are we? Anyway, producer. Roll the clip. A staggering number of locusts are causing chaos in East Africa. Some experts are raising the possibility that the gigantic swarms could make their way to China if the region fails to get a handle on the outbreak. For more on this and other news from around the world, we turn to our Yun Jungmin at the News Center. Jungmin, tell us more. Well, sure, Simon. East Africa has been suffering from hundreds of thousands of desert locusts for months. The overwhelming number of insects are wreaking havoc on crops and pasture there. Experts in China say it's less likely the swarms move all the way to China now, but have raised the possibility that the country could be hit by a wave of the insects if the outbreak isn't brought under control by the summer. The swarms have already spread to South Sudan. Sudan is already facing hunger, and the UN Food Agency has warned of a more acute food crisis in East Africa if because of the swarm. 
Kenya, Somalia and Ethiopia are reporting their worst infestations, infestations in decades. Experts say spraying pesticides from sky is the most effective way to combat the swarms, but unfortunately, countries in the region don't have the right resources. The UN body says the locusts are breeding so fast that numbers could grow 500-fold by June. It estimates there are about 360 billion locusts in the region and is calling on the international community for help. Absolute insanity. I don't think there's enough bug killer in Monsanto's vats to clean up this mess. While we're on the topic of messes, China is still falling apart over the recent COVID-9 outbreak, more commonly known as the coronavirus. Unless you've been living on the rock these past few months, I'm sure you've heard about this by now. It has now breached the Chinese border and has been rampaging across the entire world. You know, as of the time of this recording, uh, upwards of 2,300 people already died and apparently there's no signs of it stopping. 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 You know, a lot of people I've spoken with appear to be in a true state of denial. They're like, their general rebuttal is that this country is too big to succumb to anything like that. Our military and our medical system is far too advanced. Right. For the rich and the wealthy, that may be the case. But for the average commoner, such as you and I, producer, I highly doubt it. Yo, let me show you something. This is from the Al Jazeera News Network. Yeah, those folks over there. Attempting to bring the scope of this entire ordeal into view. Look, here's a few clips from a few reports recently. Hey. <laughs> Roll the clear. Now, more and more countries are reporting cases of the coronavirus. The World Health Organization is worried that some of the new infections appear to have no direct link to China, where the outbreak was first reported in December. New deaths have now been reported in Iran and Italy. In South Korea, the number of infections more than doubled on Saturday to 433. Many of them are members of a religious group. WHO experts in China have finally now been given permission to visit Wuhan, the epicenter of the outbreak. The head of the WHO is warning that the window of opportunity to contain the virus globally is narrowing. Although the total number of cases outside China remains relatively small, we're concerned about the number of cases with no clear epidemiological link, such as travel history to China or contact with a confirmed case. We are especially concerned about the increase in cases in the Islamic Republic of Iran. Well, let's take a quick look at just how this crisis has unfolded. Now, on the final day of last year, China's government alerted the World Health Organization about several cases of an unknown virus in the city of Wuhan, the capital of Hubei province. A week later, the new strain of coronavirus was identified, and then a few days after that, the first fatality was reported. By late January, more than 600 Chinese people were infected. A quarantine was imposed on Wuhan and the 11 million people who live there. But the WHO said the outbreak wasn't a public emergency, with no evidence of human-to-human -human transmission outside China. It wasn't until the end of the month that a global emergency was declared. By then, 213 people had died, and almost 10,000 were infected. Fast forward to mid-February, and the virus continues to spread around the world. The number of infections tops 66,000, partly due to a change in how doctors in China identify new cases. Well, let's now take a look at the virus tracker. Johns Hopkins University in the United States is monitoring the spread of the outbreak worldwide. The rate of infection appears to be falling, but the total number continues to rise. As of Saturday, 22nd February, almost 78,000 people have the virus, the vast majority of those in China. At least 2,300 people have now died so far. So do you see what I mean? It's like the total collapse of civilization. You know, but, you know, I was thinking about it, and I think I finally figured it out. The way that you can help save humanity. Yes, you. All you have to do 
is